Welcome. I'm Selby Ewing, member of United Methodist Women National Staff, and I'm here today to talk to you about the Welcoming Toolkit. It's a fabulous new tool to help you grow membership on the local level. And today I have with me some very brave souls who piloted the program. They were given materials very early. They were asked very quickly to turn around these events and all were successful in many different ways. The first person we're gonna to talk to is Alicia. One of the first thing I noticed in the toolkit was the Bible verse, Act 2, 44 through 47, which talks about gathering and eating together and having fellowship. And in that, it brought to mind right away how we women, and especially Hispanics, we love to eat. And we come from different South American countries, and we still, every Sunday, like to worship and adore, adorar a Dios in our language. And I brought you all some pictures to share with oh. you of some of our activities. I love that because that's a sense of when language and ethnicity and heritage really build community. Exactly. And it's nice to honor that. We have the same thing doing, going on in our church because you know that basically we are Haitian and we speak Creole. And our ladies, they go out there in the community, they have to speak English so they can help uh -huh. hold a job, you know. So. It is really a joy when we meet every weekend, every Sunday morning or Saturday afternoon to be together and just enjoy to be with each other. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Sally, can you tell us a little bit about how you brought your team together? We took the toolkit and I planned a meeting with our conference president, a member of our conference team, um, representative from our program advisory board, and our district president. And we went through the toolkit step by step. I then took those ideas and skills back after we met uh, to our uh, local UMW unit. We decided that our uh, mother-daughter friend banquet would be the best thing if we embellished it more. We included our pastor and he led the oh. men's fellowship in the cooking, the cleaning up, oh, and the oh serving God. of wow. the meal. Wonderful. And we went to our yeah, youth yeah. director, who then uh, helped us with the talent show, and it was a really fun, eventful evening. I really like how you built on an existing event. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have an existing event... Well, that was the case for us. We did not have an existing event, and we started from scratch. So we went, obviously, straight to the toolkit. And the toolkit is a wonderful resource because it lists a lot of questions that prompts you to really think through what is important in your community, what's your demographic. Being that we're in a rural community in northwestern New Jersey in Wantage, uh, we are in a farming community. And we felt that it was very beneficial to support our local farmers and to encourage other people to do the same. And mm -hmm. it also tied in because we were about to go to assembly, so there was the workshop list of all the workshops we were going to be coming. So equal exchange is something we've worked with in the right. past as well. But I'm so excited yes. that you found resources at assembly yeah. too. And we tied in these concepts, yeah, mm -hmm. about utilizing your small and local farms and being a responsible consumer. We chose the topic, destined for victory, overcoming domestic violence, oh, which goodness. was a topic that is a very tedious one that ladies care not to deal with. We brought in a prayer team Oh, I bet. Those ladies who spoke up at the end needed prayer. Of course. Oh, you had yes. people come forward in the event? Yes. Mm -hmm. I want to have that topic at my church, too. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to be calling my sister. Okay. You be calling sure. her. You, you, you pick up the phone and call <laughs> your sister. <laughs> yes. I'm going to ask her for help. Yes. Sometimes the, the biggest challenge is the logistics. Mm -hmm. How do we organize the place, the food if we're going to have it, the date, the time. Uh, with the size and the congregation at my church, we had to choose and put in requests for a location. We're dealing with other ministries along with United Methodist Women to uh, have locations or what room or requests so that the date is free and the location would be a good place for us to hold our event. What's the membership of the church you attend? 15,000 plus. 15,000 
thousand plus. Yes. Good wow. gracious. We have church membership under a hundred, and our United Methodist Women Unit is only about twenty. Gracious. But it still can be done. Absolutely. That's right. mm -hmm. But our the toolkit was an excellent, excellent source. And Gina, I want you to talk to us a little bit about how your group went about promoting your event. At first, we thought about meeting with the ladies after the Sunday service. That didn't go well because some many women wanted to go back home to feed their families. Right. Some others had to go to work right after the service. We decided that sending a personal invitation, oh. you know, could reach everybody in our church and beyond our church. We asked them to invite other members of their family, like their sister, the nieces, cousin, everybody, any women that we can talk with mm -hmm. was invited to the event. And how many would you say you had at your event? 67 people. Oh my oh, goodness. That was a very good group. So you can yes. see with yes. the spreading the word and that personal invitation mm -hmm. is so important. We all remember being invited and that's such a wonderful touch. In order to secure that we would have attendance of those women who had never been to a United Methodist Woman meeting or event, we invited the husbands. So oh. after, oh. after <laughs> church, we made mm -hmm. sure that everybody went into the fellowship hall and we all, as a family, as a worship, United Methodist people, we had lunch together and the husband enjoyed it thoroughly. <laughs> so we have this wonderful event that we've created and it goes well and people have made connections. You, get, you know how it feels. You've been at a meeting and you get really excited mm -hmm. and then you go home and Oh, we got we got to do laundry. We got to go. You know, it's time to go to the grocery. Whatever, and you kind of lose it. Right. So, Shell, what did your group do to keep that momentum going? To keep that connection happening? Well, we made sure that they had something to go home with. Um, mm -hmm. They had lots of things to go home with, but we thought the most important thing was to give them something about the United Methodist Women. Oh, nice. We gave them each a brochure that told a little bit about United Methodist Women and what was happening in, in our area and our district. A little bit of uh, foundation there because we did invite many people that were not United Methodist Women and, and they don't have to be Methodist Women to be a part of our group. And as well as giving them a pamphlet or a brochure, we, we sent them a personal handwritten postcard. Um, just a little note thanking them for coming. We also do phone calls to follow up to make sure that they get a personal invitation mm -hmm. from each of us um, letting them know the date and time and the subject matter for the next meeting. It yes. makes you feel special. Yes. It makes yes. you feel special yes. to receive an invitation. Well, if someone sends you a personal invitation, I mean, they really want you there. Subsequently, we have formed a group that meets once a month and it's been pretty oh, great yeah. time. We've um, now started that a new circle of United Methodist Women. A new women. circle, yeah. right? Wow. How and wonderful! Yes, it is very wonderful. And I just wanted to let you know, my group is only six people, and we are actually just a circle group as well. So I just wanted to let you know that it doesn't matter the size that you are. Mm -hmm. It matters the effort that you exactly. give. That's absolutely and, right. It takes about five times to come to an event or come to a gathering of United Methodist Women or any group to feel a part of that group. So the follow-up is so important. The personal touch is so important. I just want to thank each of you for being here today. As members of United Methodist Women, we know some things. We know that women want to grow in their relationship with God. We know that women want supportive community. And we know that women want to make a difference both in their communities and around the world. Find the toolkit on our website, www.unitedmethodistwomen.org. It's a wonderful way to invite more women into God's mission.